New at 6, the ranching community is mourning the loss of a young man. Fox 23 told you about Fabian Perez, the 24-year-old who authorities say was stabbed while on a horse during a rodeo event in Rogers County Sunday night. Only on Fox 23, Morgan Downing is live in Bristow where Fabian used to work. And Morgan, you spoke to one of his friends. Shay, people who knew Fabian say he was well liked and a hard working and a respected ranch hand, and they say they do not understand the violence that took his life. 24 year old Fabian Perez. Friends say he's known for being a hard worker, something his former co worker, Jimmy Dundon, says he witnessed every day he knew him. He's one of the, the characters that came through here, you know, on his, on his journey. Perez and Dundon crossed paths when the two worked here at Brewster Ranch in Creek County. If you heard that loud music coming, you knew Fabian was coming. Dundon says Perez was passionate about ranching and he was a guy who was willing to grow. He took that knowledge and he ran with it, you know, it wasn't wasted on Fabian. He, he, he was always willing to, to better himself. Rogers County Sheriff's deputies say Perez was one of several hundred people who attended a rodeo event at Riverbend Arena near Inola Sunday. Deputies say a feud between two groups that had lasted all day came to a deadly end for Perez when he was stabbed. Investigators say Perez did not have a weapon on him and he was stabbed while he was on his horse. Just You couldn't imagine something getting out of hand like that. It's shocking, you know, so young, so young. Dundon says Perez will most certainly be missed and never forgotten at the ranch. You know, the, the community is, is going to miss him. Like I said, he's a character, you know, so, you know, it's tragic. And three men are currently in the Rogers County Jail booked on homicide complaints for Perez's death. And the sheriff says it's possible a fourth person could be arrested. I found out Perez's family member was also stabbed and flown to a Tulsa hospital where he currently is right now. But the sheriff tells me he is expected to live. Reporting live in Creek County, covering news that matters, Morgan Downing, Fox 23 News.